Okay, starter XV750 Virago or 920. Got some of the pieces in there already. We've got this part in there. Now these four parts here are to make it so that this doesn't spin when the starter is activated. This is your ring gear. This is where one of the problems are. Um, if we look at this starter body here, we can see this plate where this ring gear uh, sits up against it there like that. Um, and you can see these scratch marks here, if I can get it in there like that, are caused by this ring gear spinning. You don't want the ring gear to spin. Uh, what you're doing is you're robbing energy that is needed to uh, spin the engine over to start it by that spinning. Now we'll stick this in here. We've got our planetary gears in here like such. When this starter motor is, is activated, this here little uh, uh, shaft on the end spins your planetary gears and forces the, the nose in, inside the engine case to spin, turning the engine over. Okay, here's uh, where the problem arises. As these are spinning or being forced to spin, this ring gear spins as well. It's not supposed to, and when this is spinning, you're robbing the energy or the, or the, the drive uh, to turn the engine over. So, here's the fix. What we do is, at a point in the case where we are halfway on this ring gear, we're going to drill some holes. Four of them. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to tap those holes and we're going to use a set screw. There's also going to be, on each of those places, there's going to be four little uh, uh, drilled indents in here so that when we've got this together properly and we've got our set screws in, holding this ring gear from turning, we're going to solve this issue. This is, the, this is one of, uh, I don't know, five issues with the Virago starter. So this, uh, this fix is going to fix this issue and then uh, we'll have other videos showing the, uh, the other issue. Okay, this is not the proper tool for the job, but it's what I've got. So I've uh, figured out the length to be 5 eighths of an inch uh, from this edge. 5 eighths in is where I want my, uh, my hole. So I'm going to mark it here. Let's see if we've got that right centered. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mark it. Put a mark there. Between here's our channels. Put a mark. Mark five eighths of an inch up. Okay. And then what I've done is I've looked inside here to get my placement. I've drawn a line on each one of those. Die crossing it. And that's where I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, what we're going to do first is we drill a pilot hole first. Uh, want to put it all together just sort of take a look at it. You know, drill one hole and take a look, right? No sense in going full bore all the way. Now if I had something to mark there, if I had been thinking, I would have had something to mark. There we have. 
of it. There's our pencil mark right there. So that's pretty much pretty much where we want it. You know, oh, a sixteenth down would have been nicer. Oh well, that's where I have it. So what I'd like to do here, establishing this shot, is uh, I've, I've assembled everything the way it's to be. Um, what we want, when we put the set screws in, we want this to be placed in as you know tight as it's going to be. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set, this is just a pulley I have that just happens to fit inside there nicely. And I'm just going to apply this clamp and uh, and it's just going to hold everything together there in there tightly, not too tight, but snugly. You know, it's about as tight as it's going to be uh, with it all clamped together. Now I'm just going to establish a point where uh, in the ring gear uh, where I'm going to want to drill it out. So I'm just going to give it a little a little shot like that in each place. Just so I know where to get it, put it. There. Now, when we pull this apart, if we can. If you can see that, but I've got a little hole. Oops! <laughs> I made one mistake here. Oh man! What I was going to do was no, I turned it around and the whole thing. Okay, here's here's I thought of doing this and then I forgot. But what we have to establish is because. Uh, <laughs> oh man! See what we have to get is we have to get. Where we drilled them holes, and uh, so that's in there, man. I got to check this out now. I got to turn this until I can see. There, that's that one. Now is this this one? No, it's off. See, so what I had planned on doing, and what I'll do in the, uh, not on tape here, but once I got those drilled, see what we got to do is we got to mark this, eh? Use a felt pen, and we're going to put a mark here, and a mark on here. And that way when we take it out, we know which way to put it in, where the set screws are going to. So I'll figure that off tape. Um, you know what? It's a good thing I thought of it earlier because I thought of it now and it's too late. So sorry. Okay, so I uh, did some figuring off uh, camera here. We're going to drill this out uh, with the drill bit that uh, is the closest I can find to this tap. This tap actually calls for uh, for a uh, for a, a lettered bit. Um, this is a 1024 uh, national uh, course. And it uh, calls for, I think, an E bit. But the closest I got is a 964th. So we're going to try it out, see if it works. So we're trying it on mine. You get to, you get the benefit of knowing whether it works or not after I do mine. This I'm pretty sure it's my uh, my topping oil. <laughs> I guess should be marking stuff, shouldn't he? Yeah. Guess should be marking stuff. 
Pretty sure it's my tapping oil. Gotta make sure the top is lined up. A little bit crooked there. Got it pretty much now. And we got one of these little set screws on this inside. There we go. We'll see how it goes. And then it goes. Look at that, eh? There it is. It's kind of loose. Kind of loose, maybe. We'll see when we get some uh, tension on it. And we'll try that right now. I'll do it, get it all cleaned up. We'll just get it in there and see how it goes. Just as a trial, we won't be setting it into. Look how tight that is already because of the because it wasn't cleaned out inside. Ooh, you know what? It's gonna tighten up real nice. Get a little uh, thread lock on there or thread ease or whatever, and. Uh, We'll be off to the races. Okay, well, I'm going to do the rest of it. And uh, you can. Okay, so what I did here was I uh, I drilled these holes out. I tapped them. I've put the ring gear in here, and I've I've turned it until it's a little low because not all of the components are in there. But I've lined it up, and I can see all of my marks. So what I've done is I put a for the temporary here. I've put a, a felt a sharpie mark here, and I put a sharpie mark there. And that way I know uh, the way it's going to go back together. So that's good. So now uh, that we've got that done, what we're going to do is I'm going to drill out this, uh, these indents here, and uh, that's going to give us a, uh, a uh, that's going to give us, I always like to get the bed up close. This seems better. Anyways, it's going to give us a place for that, uh, that uh, that uh, set pin to rest. And I'm thinking you don't have to go too deep, just enough, you know. Pretty sharp. So uh, you'll want to be extra careful. I'm going to uh, take it over to the uh, okay. dunk. So I'm going to put all the set screws in. I should have done this off camera before we uh, got here. there and we got that mark there. So we'll drop it into there like that. Line it up. And we'll just proceed to uh, turning these in until we can feel some resistance. There we go, we're lined up. You can feel that one jumped into place. So there's what we got. Now if we, when we assemble it, if we put some sort of Loctite in there or some sort of anti-seize in those threads of these set screws, they're not going to leak any moisture. There, those are all in there and look at that. It's not turning, it's not doing anything. I think that's the answer. I don't know that anybody's done it before, but we got four in there. That way it holds it equally all the way around. It holds it in four places. Uh, bingo, Bob's your uncle.